Hey, what's up everybody? It's Inu here and uh, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're gonna be learning how to make deepfakes on your mobile phone. And while we're at it, it's PewDiePie, so make sure you subscribe to Sinu because he has a lot of good content. Alright, so I'm gonna keep this short and straight into the point. Oh, by the way, can I get a quick round of applause for a 2020 Android tutorial? Alright, so to make a deepfake, you have to download all of these apps that are in this folder right here. And as usual, I'm gonna link everything in the description below. So we have Photoshop, Touch, Kind Master, and uh, Audio Video Factory, which you should download. For Google Chrome and Drive, should already be installed on your phone unless you're using a latest Huawei phone. Alrighty, so let's start with Photoshop Touch. The first thing that you should do after opening the app is to create a brand new project. To do that, hit this button down below. After you press that button, button it should pop out this window which asks you about the dimensions of your photo for this video we need both the width and height to be 256 so it's gonna be 256 by 256 and make sure you enter the right values if you mess this one up this wouldn't work for you the dimensions has to be exactly 256 by 256 so here we have our lonely empty project that we have to upload the face of the person that we want to animate to do that just hit on the layer button the plus button and then just go ahead and upload a brand new photo from your library and of course it's gonna be mark zuckerberg okay so a couple of things that you need to keep in mind while choosing the photo you need to make sure that your subject is looking straight into the camera if he's looking left or right that's gonna be very hard for the AI to give you a clean result. So if your subject is looking dead into the camera, that's gonna be um, excellent for the AI to detect the face features and essentially giving you a better result. With that said, let's go ahead and hit on done and then save. Now we need to export the photo into our gallery. To do that, hit on that button down below, the share button, and then select save to gallery. Here you have to choose a different format. So by default it's gonna be JPEG, but we can't work with JPEG. We have to change it from JPEG to PNG. So that's very important. Change it to PNG, then click on the photo that we just worked on and then hit OK. And the photo should be saved on your gallery. Now that we are done with Photoshop, we need to move to Kind Master to edit the video that we are going to be editing. To create a brand new project, you need to hit on this button right here. It's going to show you three different aspect ratios. We need to choose the one that says one by one, which is the option that's on the far right. Click on this and it's going to take you to the editing room, I guess. Now we need to import the video that we will be taking the information from. So hit on that media button and it's going to show you your gallery. Choose the video that you want. So I have this video of Joe Rogan and hopefully this should give you roughly how your video should look like. So the camera is stable, it's not shaking and his face is very well lit. So yeah, this is a perfect example I guess. So just cut the video from the beginning and the end and keep the part that you want. So I kept it very short. Now as you can see the video is kind of like zoomed out and you, we need to zoom into the face that we want to track so let's go ahead and go to this option which is the pan and zoom and with your finger just pinch in and make sure that your face is in the center of the video also don't forget that you need to press on that pause button on the right if you don't do that it's gonna do a little animation that's you know like the zoom in animation we don't want that so just hit on that pause button and you should be all right so now go ahead and just export your video to your gallery and uh, we are done with the editing. Next up we will be using Video Factory. I know we, we've been using a lot of apps and stuff but I promise you the next steps are gonna be very simple. So on this app hit on that blue button, the add the blue button and just add the video that we just saved. By default Kind Master saves your videos on your storage Kind Master export that's the folder where you're gonna be finding the video that you edited add that and once you add it you should see this long list of uh, you know just different options don't worry we're not gonna be using all of these the only options that we need is the size so hit on the size and it's gonna tell you how much you want to resize the video so just like we did with the photo on Photoshop 
you need to resize it to 256 by 256 the width and height change both of them to 256 once you do that hit ok and just don't mess around with any of these options just go ahead and scroll down and find the green button that says convert now and that's it we are done i told it's gonna be very easy so next up we will be using google drive so in this video's description i'm gonna leave a link if you click on it it's gonna take you right here so you can see we have two files so you have to copy these two files to a folder in your google drive so let's start by copying the file on the left below that file you should find those three buttons just click on them and it should show you this uh, list so find the option that says make a copy once you click on it it should show you this uh, brand new window so go back and you should see all of your folders on your google drive of course so create a brand new folder on your google drive and paste this name so this name has to be copied word for word you can't uh, change the folders name it has to be exactly like this so name it and then just go into that folder and just paste the file here and do the same thing just copy the the second file and paste it on the folder that you just created so this is the folder that we just created and copied those both files into if you didn't notice google drive automatically created the files and uh, said, like in the beginning it, it renamed the file uh, to copy off and then the name so we don't want that so what you have to do is to rename both of those files and just remove copy off space so also remove the space don't forget the space a lot of people forget it and it doesn't work for them so remove the space that's before the v and then remove copy off and do the same thing for the second file too okay so our folder is now finally ready to upload the footages that we've been working on so upload both the uh, the photo and the video that we edited which is uh, Joe Rogan and uh, Mark Zuckerberg so I'm gonna upload that right now once the footages the photo and the video is uh, is ready is uploaded you need to rename uh, the video and the photo so the photo the name has to be uh, 0 2. png that's for the photo the photo has to be 0 2. png for the video the video has to be 0 4. mp4 so make sure you rename it to 0 4. mp4 again please don't mess with the, the names make sure you get them right the folder name and the files name and the video and the image name has to be correct in order for this to work i know it's a lot but uh, that's what we have to do okay so i'm uh, happy to report that we are done with all the hard work now the easy work and believe me this is super easy so you have to go to google chrome or or basically just any browser any browser that you use and go to the uh, the link in the description below it should take you to this coding um, website and don't worry you're not gonna be the one who's doing the coding the website is what's gonna do the coding it's it's fully automatic so first thing let's start with that connect button in the top so press on connect and wait for the website to connect you to the server it's not gonna take a long time sometimes it's uh, it gives you some uh, random windows like uh, you know GPU is not working or whatever J just just hit continue just hit the option that says continue and uh, it's gonna work just fine so once it says connected now we can move on so if you scroll down you will notice that there is a lot of windows right here so we're gonna start from the top and go to the bottom so each window has those uh, brackets i guess and uh, what you have to do is to like each window click on the brackets and once you click on them it's gonna change to a play button which means the operation is uh, is uh, you know it's doing it's doing something it's doing the coding you don't have to understand what it's doing but yeah just once when you see the the play button just wait for the operation to end once it's done just move on to uh, the next window and hit on the brackets and uh, it's gonna do the same thing it's just gonna show you the play button you just gotta wait for them However, the third window, you have to do something. There's a little thing that you have to do. It's not, it's not, you know, hard by any means, but 
hit on the play button and uh, the, the bracket sorry and it's gonna show you the play button so it's gonna calculate something and then it's gonna stop and tell you to paste your google uh code or something so it's gonna just tell you to go to this website so go ahead and just click on that uh, blue website on the right and it's gonna take you to a brand new tab so here choose the uh, which account which google account that uh, that you're using the google account that you uploaded the files to on google Drive drive it has to be the same google account so it's gonna be this one for me hit ok and then it's gonna ask you for permission just just allow it and uh, once you do that it should take you to this um, window here and this is your uh, your code I guess so just uh, you know just, just copy it and then go back to the uh, the website and you know paste it on this box or rectangle once you do that hit enter wait a second and it should say mounted which means the website is authorized to access your uh, Google Drive files once you do this you should be all done so just move on to the other windows hit on the bracket Hits, and then hit on the play button it's gonna do the operation and just finish all the windows okay um, never mind don't finish all the windows this is the sixth window the final window the window that's gonna give you your uh, your video so yeah just hit on this bracket or play button wherever just you know let it do the calculation and just watch the magic happens you see that uh, bar right there once it goes to hundred percent that means it's done and there you go it's done now it's gonna give you this video in the bottom right here which is your video and then as you can see it done the calculation and it just pasted the informations from our video to our photo and that's how it looks now you might think it's done however you will notice that the video has no audio and it's also very slow it doesn't look right so what you have to do is you're gonna go ahead and long press the video and just uh, download it Okay, so uh, we're gonna go back to Kind Master, the video editor that we used earlier, and just go back to the same project that we uh, we edited uh, earlier, which is the the original video. So go now you have to go ahead and just import the video that you just downloaded from Google Chrome from our website. So once you import the video that we just downloaded, go to your original video and on the list on your right, scroll all the way down and find the option that says export audio so click on that and you should see it exported the video or the audio from the video and it just you know it just shooted the audio as a layer so now go ahead and just delete the video we don't need it anymore and then grab the audio that it just exported and then just bring that back all the way to the beginning of our project and as you can see the audio and the video doesn't match in length so you have to go ahead and just uh, go to the video and go to the speed options and make sure you speed up the video to 1.5 and if that still doesn't match you're gonna go ahead and make it 1.4 or 1.3 i don't know what is that but as you can see it matches now so there is another problem the video is zoomed out so what you have to do is to go to the pan and zoom option on the the list right there so just press on it and then pinch into the uh, the image that's on the the far right which is our video our processed video and then now if you play the video it's gonna give you this weird zoom in animation we don't want that so to fix that you're gonna go ahead and just go back to the pen and zoom animation and then just hit on that pause button and uh, the everything is solved and there you go this is the final video hello friends so we have a situation young jamie vernon tested positive today for covid19 i tested negative the rest of the staff tested negative uh, but Jamie tested positive. He thought maybe. And there you go. The video came out looking pretty damn good. And uh, you can use any video, the photo combination you think of. Just make sure that uh, the faces are uh, very well lit and they are in the center. That's how the AI operates. So here, yeah, go ahead and mess around with your friends. Make them say whatever you want. And uh, of course, you gotta do the meme. <laughs>
Anyways, um, sorry for the very long tutorial. I don't think I've ever done such a long tutorial, but it has to be that long so you can understand the principle of making a deep fake. It's not an easy process, especially if you're a beginner in, in like video and photo editing, but there you go. That's a really nice um, thing that you can do on your mobile. You don't have to have a PC, which is uh, the beauty of today's tutorial. Anyways, I know you guys been waiting for an Android tutorial and uh, there you go, I gave you what you wanted. So make sure you go ahead and like today's video and comment down below what you want to see next. And also I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I catch you guys later with another video. Peace out.